right guys, question 34 on the, uh, the fractions chapter. Now what we have here is uh, 5, 6 plus 2 thirds. Your first step is to compare the two denominators. The denominator means the number that's on the bottom. 3 and 6. 6 is the bigger denominator. So what you want to know is can you turn 3 into 6? Can you? Yes. By multiplying by 2. You multiply the top by 2, you multiply the bottom by 2. So what happens is you now get 5 6 plus 4 over 6, because 2 by 2 is 4. 5 6 plus 4 6 is 9 6. Now, 9 6 will get you nearly 8 out of 10 marks, because both 9 and 6 can be divided by? 3. And when you divide top and bottom by 3, you get 3 over? 2. two. Right, very, uh, not too bad of a question. Number 36, very similar question to 34. What you're going to see here is the following that 5 is the smaller number, 10 is the bigger number. Does, does 5 divide into 10 equally? Yes. Yeah. By 2. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. This means you multiply the bottom by 2 and the top by 2. You're going to change it into tenths. That's going to give you 4 tenths minus 3 tenths, which is 1 tenth. Okay? Next one, which is number 44. We have a rule about adding mixed fractions together. How do we add uh, mixed fractions together, Stephen? Uh, well, you do 3 minus 2 equals... Uh, uh, one that's one method is doing that, but the method we decide on is we'll always change the improper fractions oh, yeah, first. So that's uh, 13 over 4. 13 over 4. We, you, you, wait one second. You multiply the 4 by the 3 to get 12. Plus 1. Plus 1. 4. Then, uh, Two times three. Two multiplied by three plus the one. Seven. Seven over three. And then two by six is twelve plus uh, one is thirteen over six. Okay, two multiplied by six is twelve. Twelve plus one is thirteen plus thirteen over six. Now, you have another problem now. You gotta find the lowest con common multiple of these three numbers. Uh, Sean, how would you go about doing this? And um, divide this like go up in the highest number. Go up in the highest number, which is. 12. Uh, well, oh, six. Yeah, six. Yeah. So six, the first number. What's the 12. Do, 12. Does 12 work for all three numbers? Yeah. yeah. Because 4 divides into 12 and 3 yeah. divides into 12. What do you need to multiply 4 by to change it into 12? Look. 3. three. So, so 3 on the top and 3, three, three on the bottom. Three. What do you need to multiply 3 by to turn it into 12? 4. 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom. And finally, what you need to multiply 6 by to turn it into 12? Mm, two. 2 on top and 2 on the mm. bottom. So let's see what we get. We're going to get th 3 times 13? 39. 39 over 12 minus 28, 28 over 12 plus 26 over 12. Now, the answer is going to be over 12. What's 39 minus 28? 11. 11 plus 26? 37. And that's our answer. Which, if you want to put it into a mixed fraction, is you divide 37 by 12, you get 3. 3, 3 12 or 36. 36 minus from 37 is 1, so we've got 3 and 1 12. Both answers of 37 or 12 and 3 and 1 12 are acceptable. Again, Jan, what's the first step? Um, so you take and you take four and a half. Yeah. Plus one quarter. Uh, don't you change them into Williams. top heavy fractions. Top heavy fractions. So what's four and a half and top heavy fractions? Four and a half and top heavy fractions is nine and a half. So four multiplied by two is eight. Eight plus the one is nine. Nine over two. Okay, what's the next one? Top heavy fractions, Jan. Um, well, 4 by 1 is 4, yeah. 1 is 5. 5 over 4. Next one, 2 multiplied by 8 plus 3. Uh, 2 multiplied by 8 is 16 plus 3 is 19. Plus 19, uh, minus 19 over 8. Now, look at all three numbers. What's our next step, Aaron? Uh, you uh, turn the 5 words in uh, to go into the 8. Turn them into 8s because 2 divides into 8, 4 divides into 8, and 8 divides into 8. So, how do I turn uh, halves into 8s? Uh, you multiply the nine by 
and you multiply the top and bottom by 4. How do you multi get quarters into 8s? Okay, now what happens is the following. You're going to get 36 over 8 plus 10 over 8 minus, minus 19 over 8. Steve, you finished that? Stephen, finish that off for me. Which is uh, 2 and uh, and now in top, top heavy first place. Oh, uh, so that's 3. 36 plus 10. Oh, so 44, 6. 46 minus 19. Uh, 25. 27. 27. The answer is 27 over 8. Okay? 20. Which is going to be divided up with three, you get three, three and three eighths. Okay? Three and three eighths for number 43. Alright, guys, next one. Just this one here. The bristles of a hairbrush are eight and three quarters, two quarters centimeters in length. The handle is 11 and one third centimeters in length. Find the total length. What's the, what, what do I need to do to get the total length, guys? What, what equation? Uh, yep, Connor. Uh, Chris, you have to uh, change both of the fractions in the top heavy fraction. But before that, I, add, I meant to add them together, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, now what do we do first? We uh, change 11 and there's top heavy fractions. And what do we get? Yeah, 34 over 3. 3 plus 1, 3 times 11 plus 1, which is 34 over 3, which is perfect. And what about 8 and 3 quarters? Um, 20, 32 over 35 over 4. Plus 35 over 4. Now, we have a problem here. Uh, Raphael, how do, uh, Raphael, how do we uh, finish this off? And which number do you use to find the common denominator? The big one, which uh, the answer is 12, you're right. Count up in fours, four, eight. Does three dot divide into either one of those numbers? Yeah. The next number is? Does three divide into that number? Yes. Okay, how do we turn, uh, Gavin, how do we turn uh, thirds into twelfths? Uh, you multiply them by four. Multiply top and bottom by four. And what do we get? Um, 102. 136 over 12. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Multiply the top and bottom by 3, and what do we get? Um, yep. Uh, 105 oh, divided oh, by sorry, 12. That's alright. And finally, what do we get now? Uh, 241 over 12. 12. Now. So it says it was wrong when you uh, what? An estimation of this answer would be, if you were to add 11 plus 8, you're going to get 19, right? And a third plus 3 quarters should be over 1, so your answer should be around 19 or 20 somewhere. Is 241 divided by 12, is that, like, is that a, is that a, uh, a number that's near 20, is, is a number that's near 20? So, you can count up in 20s, 40, 60, 80, if you aren't sure, you could divide in by 20 is what you want to do, but you could count up. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to count up all the way up to 240. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay? Oh, sorry, excuse me. Just made a mess out of that. What you could do is you could count up to 12s, but a number that's really close to 241 is 240. 240 divided by 12 is? 20. 20. So the answer is, in fact, 20 and 1, 12. Okay. Now, if you weren't sure about this, you could just put in at the very end 241 divided by 12 equals 241 over 12. And there's a button that does that. You press Shift. And you press this button here, and it'll tell you that it's 20 and 1 12th. 
uh, one second. Now guys, the main thing that the examiner look, is looking for is that you can do all the hard work here. You can do all your movements. The reason we don't want you doing your calculator work here is you're eventually going to come across questions that calculators don't work for. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be moving around numbers in the same way that we do for these basic questions. So it's very, it's very important that you can get this far without your calculator. You can get all the way down to here without your calculator. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, two lengths of pipe are joined together. The total length is 25 and one, and one quarter. The length of the pipe in mark B is 8 and 2 thirds. Find the pipe in mark A. Now, a rough estimate would be something like 25 minus 8. 25 minus 8 would be 17. Our answer has to be either above or below 17, one or the other. So we know we're expecting an answer of 17, right? R roughly. Now, what, to get the length of A, we get 25 and a quarter, and we take away eight, eight. 8 and 2 thirds. Let's run what we always do. Uh, Sean, what's, what do we do with this? Uh, change it to the top heavy. Change the top heavy. Uh, 4 times 25? 100. 100 plus 1? 100 and 1. 100 1 over 4. Now, the next one? Uh, 24. 3 by 8 is 24. 24 plus? 2. Minus 26 over? 3. 3. Stephen, what's my next step? Uh, well, minus 7. But what do we need to do first? Uh, 4 and 1. I need to count what is the point. 8. And? 12. Which one's the lowest common multiple? 4 and 3 going to 12. 4 and 3 going to 12. So let's change them to 12s. How do I change 4 into 12s? Uh, you divide it in. Yeah, you divide it into 12 and you get? Uh, 3. So you multiply the top and bottom by? 3. 3. Oh, well, one second. And how do I, how do I change 3rds uh, into 12s? Uh, 3 goes into 12, 4 into 12. So you multiply the top and bottom by 4. Now, 3 times 101? And three. Divided by 12. Uh, uh, sorry, 4 times 26. Uh, if you aren't sure, there's nothing wrong with us taking out the calculator to do that. 104. 104 over uh, well, um, 12. Now, what is 303 minus 104? Yeah. Two, no, uh, 199. 199. 199 over 12. We're expecting our answer to be in the 17 region, aren't we? Yeah. So let's look at 199 divided by 12 in the calculator. 199 divided by 12. And what we get here is, we press the shift button, follow it up. 16 and 7 twelfths. 16 and 7 twelfths is located very close to 17. Hence, we know our answer more or less should be right. Is that okay? Now, finally, Yes. Now, this one here. Fiona is training for a women's mini marathon. During a certain week, she trained for three evenings. On the first evening, she ran two and three quarters, or sorry, two and three quarters. Another evening, she ran three and seven twelfths. On the third evening, she ran four and one sixths. How many kilometers did Fiona run during that week? Yes, sir. Okay, well, first of all, you have to And what you get? Uh, so that is 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 over 4. And then. Plus. Plus. Uh, 12, uh, 3, uh, 3 12 is 36 plus 7. Yeah. Uh, 43. 43 over 12. And finally. 46 is 24. Plus 1 is 24. 25 over 6. <coughs> Stephen, do you have a question related to this question? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could, we're going to put them all into 12s now, but uh, what Stephen might be suggesting is that you put the, the fraction part into 12s right away, which makes it easy. Okay, we're going here. Now what we're going to get is we've got to change them all into 12s as Stephen suggested, okay? Now, uh, how do we change 4 into 12s? Or quarters into 12s? Five by three. How do we change uh, six into twelfths? And what we're finally going to get here is we're going to get three three over twelve plus forty three over twelve plus fifty over twelve. 
An estimation of our answer would be, if that was, that's roughly three, this one's roughly three and a half, and this one here is roughly four. Our answer should be around ten and a half somewhere. Okay, let's see if that's the case. Okay, two, three plus forty-three? Sixty. Six. Sixty-six plus fifty? Sorry, seventy-six plus fifty? A hundred and twenty. Six. A hundred and twenty-six divided by twelve? It's one point. It's going to be one and a half, which is ten and a half. Sorry, so it's going to be ten and a half. As predicted, it's very close to what we predicted, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually exactly as we predicted. It should be around ten and a half. Yeah. All right, guys. So what happens here now? There's a fifteen-minute.